Hello friends, Coach Bob here. And today, in honor of the second, we're gonna be talking about another revolver. And I know what you're saying. What, is this an old guy or something? All he's talking about is revolvers. And the answer is, yes, I'm an old guy, and we will talk about more than revolvers eventually. But today, we're gonna to talk about the Smith & Wesson 625 JM. Now the JM, for those not in the know, stands for Jerry Michalik. That's M-I-C-U-L-E-K. And let me tell you, this guy is a real shooter. He's an old guy. He doesn't look like a real shooter, but man, is he a real shooter. So get your favorite beverage, grab a chair, sit down, and enjoy a little revolver time. And we're going to talk about all that right after this. <laughs> So the Jerry Michalik 625 model, it is a very, very nice revolver. And if you don't know anything about Jerry Michalik, like I was saying, his record for 12 shots, that's two loads of six each, so he had to do a reload, is under three seconds. The guy is an absolute machine, and the model 625 JM makes you a better shooter, but it's not going to make you a Jerry Michalik, that much I can assure you. If it does, Come hang out with me. Maybe you can teach me something. But a few things this gun does have that are really, really cool. And the main thing is that Michelic style. It's a .265 wide. That's a little over a quarter of an inch wide. It's a grooved speed trigger. And that trigger is smooth. It has a wooden grip that's emblazoned with the initials JM with a little lightning bolt on there. Some folks don't like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Also, it is engraved into the body of the, of the uh, handgun itself. It has a gold bead front sight, and it sits on an interchangeable base. It has a low-reflection bead-blasted finish, so it's not one of those glossy, shiny guns. And it was designed in collaboration with Jerry Michalik himself. So it's not something that, you know, he just put his name on and didn't have any part in designing it. So let's talk about the specs on it. First off, again, 45 ACP. So this is a center fire pistol round. It's not your conventional 38, 357, 22, those type of rounds. This is an ACP round. So this round, it feels different. And the first time you shoot one, you're going to notice the recoil is dramatically different. It really is an odd feeling in the hand, but it is a soothing one. It's not a snappy kickback. It's just a nice, mild pressure. It's almost like a cap gun on steroids. It only holds six rounds, and those six rounds are held in moon clips. So you're going to have to use moon clips if you use this weapon. I'm going to post a few pics of what moon clips look like. You have to load the rounds in the moon clip, Put the moon clip in the in the handgun, and that's how it works. The barrel length is 4.13 inches or 10 and a half centimeters. The overall length of the firearm is 9.4 inches. Again, the front sight has a gold bead on it, and the rear sight is adjustable. The action is a single double action. The double action has a nice, nice pullback as you draw as you pull that trigger. That the uh, as that hammer pulls back, it's a nice recovery as that hammer falls forward. It really, really is nice. In single action, it's a hair pull, man. It is wonderful. It is beautiful. The gun itself weighs 40 and one half ounces. With 16 ounces to a pound, you do the math, 32 ounces is two pounds. So that's two pounds, eight and one half ounces. Cylinder is again stainless steel, so is the barrel, so is the frame, and the finish is a matte finish. The purpose of this firearm is for competition shooting, and they say home protection and that sort of thing. But really, you know, revolvers are one of those things, they're very dependable, but I predominantly use a standard pistol um, for home defense. We'll talk about that in another episode. But here are some pictures of the Jerry Michalik model and a little bit of us shooting it. The gun is absolutely amazing. 
So if you ever get an opportunity to go out there and pick one of these up, I would suggest you do it. You know, revolvers aren't obsolete, and there's no time like now to pick up that new revolver. And I would suggest starting with the Jerry Mitchellick Model 625, and I pray that you have the greatest of seconds.